now I'm your local San Jose chiropractor, Dr. Will Holdsworth from Pamela of Chiropractic. I'm here with David today, who is a new patient. He is working out of town. He's from New York City. He's here for a client in Mountain View servicing for a couple months. He decided to come in because he's having some shoulder tightness up in here. We went over some ergonomic tips for his uh, desk, things that we can do to try to fix maybe his monitors too far away or too low. We went over possibly that he's reaching a lot, which can cause that shoulder to kind of get a little bit tight. Um, also having too high of armrests. So we went over that. He doesn't have any pain in the area, but he does have tightness and it's bothering him. Uh, so today what we're going to do is we're going to adjust his neck, mid back, low back. We're going to do a little bit of muscle work on the shoulders there. And I'll show him a little bit of exercises uh, from the other videos that I have on my page. You can go ahead and look at that, the different neck exercises. There's a whole playlist on there for, uh, for neck pain. Uh, is that pretty much everything that's going on? Yeah, what's the website? Uh, so the website is, would just be on my YouTube channel, Pain Relief Chiropractic. There's different playlists there. Uh, we have neck pain, back pain, uh, fibromyalgia, carpal tunnel, uh, all, all different sorts of symptoms. We organize it by that and do different playlists. And then all over social media, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Pinterest even, uh, LinkedIn, you can see us there. And then uh, also on Google+. Plus. So we're, we're pretty much uh, videos all over the place. Oh, great. <laughs> And here's another video we're doing now. So uh, let's get started. Do you have any other questions? No, I'm ready. Okay, go ahead and land your back face up. We'll get your neck adjusted first. So we're first just going to loosen up the muscles here. Do a little bit of active release technique for the back of the neck, head area. Let me know while I do this, Dave, if uh, this is too much pressure or if you want me to That's go good. a little more. It's okay. okay. So work's been really easy lately, huh? So it's been pretty good. The last two days have gotten very busy, though. It's good to be busy. Yeah, we're rolling out a new project with Argentina and Europe at the same time, so it's a lot of coordination. Argentina and Europe? Yeah. So you're, are you speaking Spanish and whatever European language? Is no, 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 they're speaking English. They're speaking Spanish, English. Yeah, yeah. Yes. a little ethnocentricity always helps. Very <laughs> nice. Pressure still all right? Feels good. So we're at about a 6 or a 7 out of 10 for like a tightness scale. Again, no pain in the area, just tightness. Discomfort. Discomfort. So we're going to get some alleviation of the symptoms today. We're going to check motion in the neck before we adjust. So we're a little bit less, a little bit less motion going to the left than going to the right. So the upper part of the neck, we're going to adjust then. We're going to go into the motion restriction. Get a release there. I'll go to this side. And even out there. Good. Good to take care of shoulder tightness because those muscles will attach to the neck. It can cause like a cervicogenic or a tension headache. That's not a question. Yeah, if I'm laying down, like in bed or whatever, or yeah. the couch, should I try to relax my shoulders so I'm touching the couch, like the shoulder blades touch the couch? Because I know sometimes I might hunch when I lay down as well. That could just be because your pecs are tight. Okay. So you, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to stretch your pecs out. I'll show you how to do that. That's also a video that I have posted. So you can watch that um, and just get a little bit of alleviation there. But what, when you're laying down on the couch, you don't have to force your shoulders down. Just relax them and let gravity do the work. It would be perfectly fine. Okay. So we're going to cross your arms, you're going to get your mid-back adjusted here. All you have to do is breathe in and breathe out, and breathe all the way out. Good. And again, breathe in and out. Good. And here. Good. Okay. And then we'll bend the knee here, get your low back adjusted. And then rotate toward me. Perfect. Let this like fall. And keep this knee kind of like, keep that foot behind the knee. Perfect. And you're just gonna breathe in and out. Good. Oh, I felt good. Excellent. Go on your back again. Perfect. We're gonna just 
switch the grip a little bit and foot behind the knee. Let this leg fall here. Perfect. Go ahead and breathe in and out. Good. Excellent. Let's go on your stomach. I want to get a little more motion in that mid-back. So a little tight in here. Just want to loosen that up a little bit. Pressure's okay? Yeah. A little ticklish. A little ticklish. Me, Probably the tightness. English there. Get better. Getting better, good. Well, laughter is a form of medicine, right? <laughs> so we tickle you, get some laughter out of it, doing a little bit extra. Good. Okay, go ahead and breathe in and out. Move your head to the side, just relax it. I don't know, just relax your head there. All right, I'm just gonna move your head. Good, excellent. Not too bad in this area. Let's go ahead and sit up, face me. Sit that way. Okay. Sorry, so sit with your back to me now. Okay. It was towards me, but I moved. <laughs> I'm confusing you there. All right, so gonna get a little bit more release in this area. Using that ART again, active release technique, going from here, we're gonna go across the chest, and then you're gonna pull this elbow with the other arm, perfect. Let's go ahead and go back out to the side. So start in position one, which is arm out to the side here, okay. and then go over there, perfect. Go ahead and pull that over. Good, pressure's okay? Yeah, that's good. Okay, we're gonna do that again. I'm going to do this like six to eight more times depending on how you respond. Good. And keep me posted on pressure as well. If it ever is causing too much discomfort, we can always back off. More pressure, more diamonds. More pressure, more diamonds. Good. Keep going ahead and pull that. Excellent. Pull that over. Got a couple more. And then look over at the foam roller too right now. Good. And one more. Good. Excellent. And we're gonna relax that. And let's do the other side. Same exact thing. Go ahead and go over. Good. Not as tight on the left. More on the right. Oh, that mouse clicking. It's that mouse. Do you have a, where's your mouse is on the desk? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, try to figure out that whole height difference between the elbow and the mouse and keyboard. So vertical like and over. Upper arm. Make your, angle. yep, make your upper arm vertical, then assess your elbow angle. If it's 90 degrees, you're good. If it's less than 90 degrees, you're Elbow height's too low, or the desk is too high, however, you, whatever you can adjust there. And then uh, it's greater, which definitely isn't, but that would be the mouse is too low. Good. One more. Good. And relax that. Okay, raise your right hand like you have a question, all the way up. And then take that hand and put it on your low back. Low back. There you go. Good. And again, we got a couple more of these. Keep going. Pressure's okay? That feels good. 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 You go slow or controlled? I guess just a controlled motion. Controlled motion. You don't have to go too slow, but you definitely do not want to go fast. This, the rate you're going is perfect. And one more. Good. We're going to do that on this side. And down. Good. Good. 
Pressure's okay here. Mm -hmm. You know what else too, since you've been playing basketball more? Shrugging your shoulders potentially when shooting. So now you're mm -hmm. overworking it even more. And by yeah. you're sitting at your desk and shrugging your shoulders all day, and then you go and you get your exercise in and you're shrugging your shoulders when you're shooting and stuff like that. So you know, don't not don't stop playing basketball, but definitely take care of your desk so that this doesn't aggravate you on the court or outside of both those activities. And we got one more. Good. Okay, excellent. Go ahead and lay on your back. I want to get that heck a little bit loosened up there. Because <coughs> if your pecs are tight, relax your arm. I'm going to do the moving this time. Make it easy on you. And let me know if the pressure's too much. So this should help when you're laying on your back. I'm feeling that your shoulders are kind of rounded forward. So this is my first experience at a chiropractor. And yeah. I can already tell like, when I feel better feels. Yeah. Yeah, I already feel looser. Yeah, the nice thing about chiropractic is after just the first visit, you feel like a big reduction in symptoms. It's rare to get everything to completely go away, but it does happen. Um, so. You know, it, but it is nice to, to take, like, you're at like a 6 or 7 out of 10 to get you down to hopefully at least a 3 and see what we can do from there. Um, like, I had someone come in here last week who was a 9 out of 10, oh, well, left a 0. So, you know, it does happen, but it doesn't happen all the time. Let's get this out of 2. Good. Pressure's okay? Yeah. Harder than one. Harder. Be careful what you wish for. Excellent. Good. Couple more. Excellent. Okay, you can sit up. You're all set. So how are we feeling? I feel good. I feel very loose. Okay? I feel, yeah, it's definitely tightness is good. Down. Okay? It's good. What would you put the number at, 0 to 10? I'd say probably about a 2 or a 3. Still feel a little bit, but it's nothing like it was before. Good. Okay, so 2 out of 3, what we would do for our treatment plan would be to come in once next week, um, see how you're responding. If you're still 2 out of 3, good. Uh, we'll treat you and see if we can get you to a 0. Maybe more like we'll get you to like a 1 or a 2. And then uh, possibly see you twice next week, if depending on how you respond next time I see you. From there, back it down, maybe get you down to one visit as soon as possible a week, and then try to get you to zero visits, because the whole point is just to get you out of pain and tightness. A lot of the stuff is going to be up to you doing your exercises. So I'm going to show you the stretches that I want you to focus on. You can go to those that YouTube channel, Pain Relief Chiropractic, and watch the videos if you forget, or you can always just contact me and I'll send you the links. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything. Um, do you have any questions about that? No. Okay. Thank you, answer everything. You got it. So that's everything from us. Uh, the, I'm Will. This is David. Uh, Dr. Will Holter from Pain Relief Chiropractic, your San Jose chiropractor. Thank you for watching. Thank you, doctor.